Hello, everybody. So in my last video, I talked about the pros of being a temp dental hygienist or a temp dental assistant. In this one, I will be talking to you guys about the cons. So the not so nice things about being a temp, because with anything, there's the good and there's uh, the bad. And uh, forgive me, I have been sick for the past week and my voice is a little bit shaky now, I think because I've done about three videos. So I have some water with me, so please forgive me. I should have known that I shouldn't be doing a lot of videos until I feel better, but it's been about a week because of the holidays, right? So I wanted to have some new stuff up for you guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So some of the um, cons about being a temp. So some of the not nice things about being a temp, um, at least for me, is when you're working for, let's say, a new office, it's all new. You know, we all remember um, our first day working in a, in a general office. Oh my God, sorry guys, now my voice is being very, very weird. Let me just take some water first. Sorry about that, guys. This is the real me. I'm going to try to not talk so loud and maybe that will help my voice. But I think this means that this is my last video for the day. So we all remember when we started working in a new office. You're, you know, nervous, you're anxious, you are excited you feel like that for about a week or two weeks. When you're a temp, and if you're working somewhere new, you kind of always have that newish um, feeling, that like anxious but excited feeling every time you work for an office. Um, but I do find that it gets a lot easier. I, I, I'd say my first month as a temp, I worked for three different offices, oh my gosh. I was so nervous every single time because I worked about once a week at that time, so you know, you work for a new place, say on Monday, and then the next Tuesday you work for another place, well, you're nervous, anxious, excited all over again. And then the next week, well, it's been a week since you worked, so you're nervous, anxious, excited again. But it does get easier. I've been doing it now for about six months, I'd say. And I'm nervous, anxious for maybe the first patient or two, but then you just sort of get into it. So um, that's a con for sure. You know, it's not a nice thing to have to feel that way. Whereas if you're always working for the same office, there's no surprises, right? So you're not nervous or, or anxious to work because you have worked there for a while. Um, so that was something that I did have to get used to. Um, another thing is, is talking about money. So as a temp, you need to tell the office how much money you want to be, um, making and then you also have to talk to them about so how are they going to pay you is it going to be a check at the end of the day um will they pay you like they do the rest of their staff so if they get paid every two um, weeks or so and let's say that they had just paid their staff yesterday then you may have to wait two weeks for the next check so you may work say on a monday and then have have to wait two weeks to actually see the money. So that's kind of hard um, because as a temp, you're probably not making money every single um, um, week, depending on how much you're actually um, working. Like last month, I worked once a week and I had to wait about a month for my checks because of the holidays. Um, every office that I seemed to work in had just paid their staff. So it took a little bit longer for them to pay me. So that's always a little bit hard too because you do not have to have um, consistent money coming in. There are some offices that conveniently, oops, we forgot to pay you. So then you have to wait another two weeks for them to pay you. It does happen, mistakes are made, but that's why I do prefer to be paid at the end of my shift. But at the same time, I, d I don't want them to not hire me because I'm being a, a little bit difficult asking them to pay me at the end of the shift. So what I do um, is I do, um, before I start working for them, I do ask them how they like to pay their temp hygienists. Um, and then they just sort of let me know from there. They usually say, um, we just pay you with the rest of, of, of the staff. Um, we give you a check after um, two weeks. And, and if you're not planning to work there, say, every week, then they will likely send it out to you by mail. But then that can take an extra three days a week sometimes. So a con for sure is that you don't always have the money in front of you. Um, so make sure to keep track per office how many hours you worked because you also have to keep in mind 
that they might try to shortchange you. I'm not saying that every office does this. We're all humans. We all make mistakes, but I have found that a lot of offices, I don't know if it's just me or what, but it's like, oh, I worked an, an extra two hours, but they don't have that on my check here. So then you have to let them know and say, oh, you paid me for this amount of time, but I actually worked this amount of time as I put on, on my sheet, but you might have forgotten. So then they do owe you some money and then that can take another two weeks. So that's a con for sure, because not a lot of people like to talk about money. So when there's any issues, you might be hesitant to talk to the office. You might be saying, oh, I don't really want to tell them that they owe you, you know, money, but I want the money, you know, so that can be an uncomfortable, you know, um, conversation. Thankfully, I don't mind talking about money, so I don't mind. It's just I get slightly annoyed, you know, as anybody would when the same office makes the same mistakes or the same office forgets to pay you every two weeks. And then it's like, okay, I, I, um, I worked for you guys four times last month and um, two times a month before, you know, how, how come my check always goes missing or, or, or um, how come you, you always forget to pay me, you know, something like that. <coughs> Sorry, you guys, I should have known to not do a video when I'm sick. I'm almost done. Um, more cons of tempting. Those are kind of the big ones. Um, I worked in, in an office actually a couple weeks ago where a new office, I was amazed. Um, the staff was not very nice. Um, the dentist was not very nice. One of the hygienists had to end up going home early um, because she had an appointment, I believe, that she forgot about. So I had to see her patients too. Yeah, her patients too. Um, and appointments were, were every half an hour to begin with. So here I'm seeing children, adults, doesn't matter, in half an hour. Um, I was double booked the whole day. I guess that's that's just how the office is. If a patient doesn't show up, there's always another patient waiting. All of my patients showed up. So I was very behind all day. Um, and the patient thinks it's your fault, right? They don't think it's the, the office's fault. They think it's your fault. Um, it was a new computer, uh, computer system that nobody wanted to show me how to use it. So I just kind of had to go with the flow. At the end of the day, I didn't get a thank you, nothing. Um, I had to pretty much ask where to put my hours down so they know how much to pay me. <coughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. So that's a con for sure, is you never know what you're walking into. Will I ever work for that office again? No. But that did make me appreciate things so much more. Um, so much more so were the other offices that I work in that are amazing, I tend to appreciate them a lot more now. Um, yeah, so you never know what you're walking into and that can be hard. Um, temping is not for a newbie, okay? If you've been doing this for six months, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, um, here, let me take some more water. Um, if you've been out of school for six months, either in, in um, hygiene or assisting, temping is not for you because you are thrown into things, okay? You have to have experience to be able to handle that and not be like, oh my God, I don't know what's happening. So a newbie should not temp because of that reason. Um, let me think here. Um, darn, I think it's because I'm sick. I'm not thinking properly. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I will stop the video. I might continue, but if you guys have questions though about temping, let me know and then that will help me think of some things to talk about. But all in all, I love temping. I take the good with the bad. Some weeks are better than others. Some weeks are amazing. And then the week after that, I might work for two horrible offices that I will never work for again, but you're always making money. So just something to keep in mind, if you're not comfortable talking about money, then temping may not be for you either because you have to make sure with some offices that you get paid because they tend to forget to pay temps and then you have to keep calling them. So that's another thing too. But um, I'm going to stop the video because obviously I'm sick and I can't stop coughing. So I apologize, but thank you guys so much for watching.